then if they go down and beat Tassie, they're going to have a semi-final series against this team. Or Perth's last game against Tassie is the other one. It's Ty Webster getting on the board for Perth. So this is just unique. Well, they want to get into Froling. Again, had such a consistent season. Almost identical numbers to his NBL 23. There's Pinder. Speaking of being in good form. He's in fine touch. Let's get down to Brad Rose and you want to join in on the conversation about Bryce Cotton? Yeah, I do. Well, I actually want to talk about Hung Jung Lee. Just what I love about what Tatum's doing is at the beginning of the year, there's many substitutions going on. He's leaving guys out there that are playing. Contested three. Heavily contested. Four of five from long range for Gary Clark. All 12 points from the three-point liners. Saar, that's better. Getting some rebounds and a chance for a three-point play. Tatum comes in and understands that Clark is their guy. Get him the ball. And this time he turns it over. Matt Russell, you want to get into the conversation? Yeah, Gary Clark, so consistent Ooh. as we look at Usher, elevate and dunk just to suck a bit of momentum. Yeah. The more interesting part about the MVP race is really, well, I can't wait to see the two, three, four spots underneath. Is it, who's everybody voted for? We'll take there from Hiram Harris. But I've got Sydney beating South East Melbourne and you're telling me, Source, you're confident South East can win this weekend, so who knows? Asar, the easy one under the bucket. We've seen in the past years in the NBL, the champions are top two, top three in the defensive category all the time. It's, oh, it's, the, it's the metric that we see, and as we see Alexander Starr there just beasted. While you're leaving Tyler Harvey, again, unless there's a screen set to switch, how many times have seen this from Hiram Harris? Normally off a made bucket as well. I'm going to get the ball with Cotton. He's got the 14 points. Four of six from the field, three of three from long range. And then shows off with the left. He's been aggressive. Usher gives up the look this time. Webster eyeballs Tyler Harvey. Got it to Wagstaff. The scores are all tied up. Uh, Ty Webster as well. Hello. Two guys just falling asleep a little bit. And there is the Cardinal sin. Fouling Bryce Cotton. Harvey Norman replay. Just lost Dave O'Higgins. Uh, Tatum said straight away, no way. So it doesn't matter though because he went in. And Brad Rosen, what was happening at Perth? Well, John really was composed. He said, we can get this back and we've just got to do it slowly. One of the ways was crashing the glass, exactly what we saw there. Hawks fans, after a couple of runnings, there it is getting louder and louder. And then the... Bronx cheers oh. as Pinder throws one down. Great job by Harold Harris getting the offensive rebound and then Keanu Pinder coming down the middle of the paint with the fluff.